Hi YouTube, this is Darkon633, and today I'm bringing you up the Transformers Energon Shock Blast figure. Now, initially I was going to do this for last week, but I wasn't feeling too well the previous week, so I kind of had to skip a week for Blast of the Past. So now we're going to go on back into the regular schedule and now go on to one of the cooler Decepticons in the show. Now, as you can see on the side here, he already has an Energon star firmly attached to the side there. The Energon stars came in several variations. The blue Energons, which are just like the Super Energons, like the Autobots, and also a green and pretty much yellow color. So it's kind of weird that they made a running change even for the Decepticons when it came to the Energon Sparks. But anyways, articulation-wise on this figure is rather strange, just because both arms really do have a whole different change of movement. As you can see, the figure over the years doesn't really click into place very well, so it's a bit unfortunate that it ended up happening. But anyways, his head can turn 360, and the ears kind of bend, but that's generally due to transformation, so that's not really an articulation point. He does have full shoulder movement, which I can get into camera, so as you can see here. And it does ratchet very nicely. It can bend in and out on the shoulder. It does have a single elbow joint. And it can kind of bend here due to the way that its transformation is. And he does have some hand articulation there, so that's about it. His other shoulder, unfortunately, has less articulation. All it does is that it turns and ratchets outward, and that's it. And he does have a gimmick where you pull this lever and you can shoot a missile, but unfortunately over the years I have lost the missile, so I don't know where it is. He does have waist articulation due to transformation. He does have really good hip movement back and forth. You can also swivel and bend at the knee just about 90 degrees. And his feet can pivot just a bit and turn slightly due to transformation. So he does have quite a lot of movement for an Energon toy. Now, this figure is actually a triple changer of sorts. He does have two other forms. His robot is obviously one of them. However, he does turn into this kind of rover kind of th design and he turns into a satellite. So. In both modes, pretty much, you just need to turn the head, and it has a bit dusty over the ears, so keep that in mind. We're going to bend these four like this, so it looks like that. Twist this around and make sure that this is twisted as well. And then, this is where it gets kind of loose there, unfortunately. You're going to have to fiddle around with the body so that it goes into place like this. Then we're going to turn the feet and clip them together, make sure it looks like this, and then bend it around so that we can get this piece in like that. So now make sure that the waist piece goes in this direction here. You're going to plug this up here, which unfortunately doesn't plug in very well on mine. You're going to pull out the wheel, so now you got this look so far. We're going to turn this around, it's going to peg into an area there, and there you have his kind of, some kind of uh, rover form. Now, this is a very strange form, and I do like the look of the design, it just looks very strange, and I actually forgot to pull these inward, and yeah, there, this is in. So that's pretty cool for what it is. Now, my favorite mode of, the, of this figure, actually, is actually a settlement mode. But before we go on there, we're just gonna quickly go over the wheels. As you can see, there are plastic wheels throughout the body there. So it does make that little sound, and there you go. So that's pretty much it for movement. To transfer into satellite mode, you're just going to make sure that this piece is up here. So it has some kind of uh, solar panel there. You're going to pull these, and be wary, as you can see, they're on these very small pins, so they can break if you're not careful. We're just going to pull them out like this. So it looks like that. I'm going to... Turn these panels so that you have more panels show up. So it looks like that. Then, I'm going to fiddle around with this so that these go outward. And then, I'm going to turn these around so that another pair of panels pull out. And I think I turned them the wrong way, yes. So then another pair of panels, at least try to clip outward. So now we got full panels all around, and if I remember correctly, let's get this into place. Let's 
There we go. This is the satellite mode. Now, it may look kind of strange, but it works its purpose pretty much for what it does. So I do enjoy what has from Takara did to try to make an ultra mode, which doesn't look half bad actually for what it is. To transfer it back into robot, it's very simple. We're just going to move the components around, put these panels away, bend these, turn it around, get them flat, pull away the panels, pull this around, like so, close these panels here, turn around, push them down all the way, then turn the head, and there you have Shock Blast back in his robot mode. Now, while he does suffer some problems due to age, as you can see, the clipping problems on the waist can be a bit problematic over time. I still think this is a pretty decent figure in the Energon line, and it's actually one of the few Voyager class figures, or whatever they were called, I forgot what the names of the particular line was. They don't have a power link gimmick, so this thing cannot combine with any other figure in the line. Same thing with this Brother sh Six shot, which was just a repaint of him in different colors. So, overall, I still think Shock Blast is a pretty cool toy, and if you can find one with a better condition than mine, then it's definitely much more worthwhile time. Anyways, please comment and subscribe, and check me out on Twitter under Darkon633. Please check out Hirotaku and Gideon Blog for all your latest in Transformers news and more. Also, please check down the other channels down below, including the WW Podcast and the other channel's friends here. Anyways, I'll be seeing you in YouTube in another week of Blast of the Past for Energon.